is it. This is our PVC pipe they put, the long thing Mako. It took us a long time to build her, but we are happy because probably she is the only and first of her kind in the whole world. Now she is all ready for the river test and we really wish she will pass those tests with flying colors. We have to find out that soon. Let me give you an overall view of this uh, jet boat. So starting with the stern, as you can see, it has the reverse bucket, the jet drive is the reverse bucket, which go goes and closes this jet nozzle and it can be turned. This is the jet drive. This is this frame holds all the engine uh, mount, engine connector, reverse bucket mechanism, steering mechanism, etc. This is a vertical pipe which has a belt which connects this uh, shaft to the shaft of the uh, jet drive unit. And this one has a stainless steel water intake grating uh, and uh, this one holds the propeller. This is a small engine 1.5 HP Honda engine we are trying to run her with. Probably not uh, designed for a high speed but for a comfortable enjoyable cruise that's what we are hoping to get from this engine so these are all the remote uh, controls from the cat captain's seat at the bow so that is the captain's seat with the controls like the reverse the engine throttle, reverse mechanism, then uh, coming to this console, this one is mostly used when she is running on electric mode. So it has a battery 12 volt and then the control panel, switch on probably as a horn. Basically, it's she is a catamaran like two pontoons. This one, which is held by a slidable, you know, tightening mechanism. Like if you make it loose, you can slide her this way or that way to increase the stability and to avoid accidental, you know, slips. We have a locking mechanism, so as long as it's in there, the pontoon is not going to go anywhere. So that one is the third central pipe, which basically at the stern has the jet drive. And this is a uh, frame which holds all the three pipes steady. Again, this is a captain's seat. These are the controls for the engine and the electric motor. That's the engine mount everything. This is the engine to the connecting shaft. So you can probably replace this engine with any engine like an electric engine or a more powerful gas engine like that then this one uh, goes into this pipe uh, so we have a waterproof you know connection there then uh, it has a pulley inside then through a belt connects to the sh jet drive shaft which turns a propeller inside here and this is a steering 
nozzle and the reverse mechanism So this is a view from the bottom showing the reverse bucket, the water intake grill uh, then comes like that, the center pipe which holds everything. You can see the wire diagonal bracing to give it more stability then it goes like that that's the three pipes that's uh, pretty much uh, about her so next is a river test thank you for watching